The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. The new Riviera 395 SUV was designed for people who want to do coastal cruising, day tripping, and entertaining with family and friends. From her coach roof down, she's virtually the same as the Riviera 39 Sport Motor Yacht, but she was designed for those who would prefer not to have a flybridge. And there are some distinct advantages to this Express Cruiser. Let's take a look. Her profile looks sleek, yet she has a modern, timeless look that should stay pleasing to the eye for many years to come. There are a couple of things that give all Riviera yachts a distinctive look. One is the pronounced brow over the windshield, another is the soft shear line. On our test boat, Riviera added a light gray stripe starting at the trunk cabin forward and flowing aft to the engine room air intake. There's a subtle curve that's followed in both the shear and the stripe which makes the boat appear lower to the water than she really is. The standard platform itself measures 9 feet 10 inches wide by 3 feet 11 inches fore and aft and has four freeing ports. In the transom is a convenient storage bin. Above it is a concealed sink and barbecue grill. By giving access to the grill from the platform, valuable space is saved inside the cockpit. Behind the aft bulkhead is a bench seat which contains an insulated cooler or optional cool box. The teak table has a height adjustment down to a sun pad. Just behind is a window that opens out on a gas assist strut. The combing is 28 and a half inches high off the deck. There's a fold out seat on the starboard side in addition to the one against the bulkhead. Tucked inside the transom at the gate is a hot and cold shower. On the starboard side of the cockpit is an insulated and overboard draining in-deck fish box and in the gunnel is storage for tackle boxes and gear. Forward is another comfortable place for sunning. The cushions come standard and two chaise lounges can be created. As we enter the yacht's main cabin, we find an L-shaped settee on the port side and an L-shaped galley on the starboard side. Headroom is 6 feet 7 and a half inches and Riviera has placed its signature polished oval stainless steel handhold on the centerline overhead. Forward are twin electrically actuated hatches with shades. With these hatches open and the two sliding windows along with the door and the windows aft, a lot of breeze will funnel through the interior. A built-in sofa is forward to starboard close to the galley, the settee to port and the helm. The settee is on a raised platform and has a high-low table for conversion into a fourth bed with filler cushions. The galley comes standard with an electric induction stove top, a deep stainless steel sink and to the left is a drying area with grooves that drain into the sink. Below is a microwave convection oven and two refrigerated drawers. There are two cabinets and five soft touch closing drawers. The hard surface counter has a high backsplash with electrical outlets and a shallow groove is routed out near the counter's edge but no fiddles. Three more cabinets are above the window. On a panel to the right, just inside the door, is the standard C-Zone screen that monitors and manages all the vessel's electrical systems, and our performance video offers a full explanation of this system. On the aft bulkhead is a vertical grate for the optional air conditioning system inside the swing-up window, and note the valance, which hides a rolling shade, just as on the side windows. Forward is a standard 32-inch TV on an electric lift. The stereo also comes standard with speakers all over the boat. When away from the dock, electricity is supplied by an Onan 9-kilowatt genset. The companionway to the accommodations level is on the center line. The guest stateroom is on the left and the head is on the right. Forward is the door to the master stateroom. It has 6 feet 2 and a half inches of headroom and an overhead hatch with a shade and screen. The island berth measures 60 inches wide and below are four soft touch closed drawers. There is a mirrored headboard. To port and starboard are reading lights and shelves with electrical outlets and a USB port. The stateroom's bulkheads are all covered in padded fabric chosen by the owner. To both sides are carpet-lined hanging lockers with a small overhead storage cabinet. The master stateroom also has a private entrance to the boat's single head. Here there are two cabinets with mirrors and shelves inside and a light overhead. A hull side window brings in natural light. The ceramic wash basin is on a solid surface countertop. Aft is a separate walk-in shower stall with a glass door, adjustable shower head and tea covered bench seat. Entering the guest stateroom, we measured the headroom at 6 feet 4 inches, increasing as we step down into the cabin itself. The hanging locker at the entrance is carpet lined. This full beam cabin features three single beds. The headroom is 5 feet 3 inches beside the port bed. Between the two beds, it's 3 feet 6 and a half inches, then becomes higher outboard. The two athwartships beds are 29 inches wide and both have reading lights, and there are electrical outlets with a USB port by the nightstand between the beds. An opening port light is integrated into the hull side window. The port side berth is 24 inches wide and also has an opening port light. There's another nightstand with two drawers and electrical outlets with a USB port. Overall, the advantages of the 395 SUV Express Cruiser versus her near sister ship, the Riviera 39 Sport Motor Yacht, 
all have to do with the elimination of the flying bridge. The SUV looks sleeker and because she has less weight and windage, she's more fuel efficient and faster with the same power, plus she draws less water. Because she has a lower center of gravity, she's also a bit more stable. With less equipment, there's less maintenance and of course, the 395 SUV is less costly to begin with. She's also a fun boat to operate, but that's another video, be sure to look for it. For now, that's our look at the features and accommodations of the Riviera 395 SUV. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.